Well, too much of anything is rarely a good thing, and the same, believe it or not, goes for sleep. Well, CBS4 anchor Lauren Pastrana explains how too much rest could wreak havoc on your health in an all-new Lauren's List. If you're an early riser like we are, you're lucky to get five or six hours of sleep on any given night. Seven to eight hours sounds like a vacation. Ten hours plus? Forget about it. We often hear the benefits of sleep, but like most things, anything in excess can be bad for you. So today's Lauren's List breaks down the negative effects of sleeping too much to make us early birds feel just a little bit better. First up, heart disease and stroke. A concerning problem linked with long sleep is cardiovascular disease. Researchers from the Chicago School of Medicine found that people who sleep more than eight hours per night are twice as likely to have chest pain and 10% more likely to have coronary heart disease. And a study from the UK showed a 46% greater chance of stroke in long sleepers, even after adjusting for other risk factors. Next up, obesity. Much like the chicken or egg, it's hard to show what came first here. The long sleep leading to weight gain or the weight gain causing you to want to sleep more. Looks like sleep is a cause and effect for and of obesity. Now, if you're spending more time in bed, you're not exercising more moving around so you're burning fewer calories. In a study from Canada, long sleepers were 25% more likely to gain weight over the study's six-year period. Depression. One symptom of depression is oversleeping, so having untreated mental health problems could be one reason why you've had a hard time getting up. Studies have shown long sleep is significantly associated with frequent mental distress, and this may be tied to the lack of physical activity caused by sleeping too much. And finally, the dreaded brain fog. Ever taken a long nap only to feel even more tired? That's why power naps are so helpful. So a short burst of sleep will leave you feeling recharged and your brain sharp. One study out of Harvard shows older women who slept more than nine hours had worse cognition, the equivalent of aging almost two years. So how many hours of sleep do you get each night? Tell me on Facebook or Twitter. If you have an idea for a future Lauren's List, send it my way too. Five hours. I, I, Five, that, that's what we were talking about. Enough. Six hours. That, like she said, that's, yeah. that's days off. Ten hours, yeah. I don't even know who does oh that. My, then we, we must be extremely healthy. Because exactly. Because we sleep, maybe you sleep less, you're healthier. I don't know. Well, this is good news for us because we always hear how too little sleep always affects your health. Yeah. And so we feel bad about ourselves. But Lauren we're on gave point. us we're hope. On point.